I'm Patrick Murphy Racy, Sony Artisan of Imagery, and I'm here to talk to you today about two different emerging technologies. Number one being my Alpha One camera that is on my 4028 here, and the other is the Xperia One Mark II, which I've got kind of connected up here so you can see kind of what I do during games. Um, so this is the Alpha One, which is a wicked, cool, awesome camera. It shoots 30 frames per second. It's a 50 megapixel, that's 5.0. Um, it is an unbelievable beast of a camera uh, for shooting action, sports, portraits, whatever. But this it also expands the usability of my Alpha One, and it has made its way into the workflow for my post-production, and what I would call pre-production, because I'm actually shooting assignments for clients, and I'm moving images from the camera to the phone, to the internet, to FTP, to wherever. But I'm doing that all because of the incredible speed of the Xperia 1 Mark II. Sports coverage has radically changed in the last few years, especially with the advance of the Imaging Edge software app that's free to any Sony user. The Imaging Edge app allows me to immediately move images from the camera to the phone. Once they're in the phone, I can put them wherever I want. Typically what I'll do is I'll set up a Google Drive folder and then whatever client I'm working for, I will share that folder that's simply called Live Event. So I share the Live Event folder on my Google Drive to whoever it is that I'm gonna be working for that day. Typically it's a sporting event, so it'll be a sports information director, a PR director, or someone assigned to do social media for the team. What this allows me to do is as I'm shooting the game in real time, I can capture a great moment, a great play that makes that team look really good and then I can immediately size it and then send it to wherever they, I'm directed to send it to. What this means is that somebody could be sitting in the press box handling social media for a sporting event or any event really, within 30 seconds typically of the play actually happening in the field and me capturing it with my A1, it's then on their laptop ready to be pushed out to whatever Instagram or Facebook or whatever they wanna do with it. So it brings about this an instantaneous access to my images that many of my competitors don't enjoy. So this is a huge advantage for me as a photographer. All right, so just as an example, I can pull up whatever I want on the phone. Let's say I like this picture. I'm just gonna hit the function button and then enter. And then it's gonna copy the phone instantly. So if I wanna go back and find another sit setup, like that looked pretty good, boom. Boom, you can see how quick it is. Now these are 50 megapixel files. These are not small, trivial files. These are big. Here's a nice uh, frame by the water. Boom, fast. Everything about Alpha One and Xperia One is super, super quick. And so you can imagine how easy it is to edit on the fly when you've got speeds like this. It's incredible. I can just boom, 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 as I go. And so as I'm shooting games, I'm doing what I'm doing right now. And I'm just moving pictures of the phone, and as soon as there's a timeout and they're no longer playing, I'm instantly looking at my images that I've already sent to the phone on the phone. And in this way, I can really much better cover the games and make my clients extremely happy. Now, whether there's Wi Fi available in the stadium or the arena or not doesn't really matter because the uh, the Xperia One Mark II actually accesses the internet much faster even when you, there is no Wi-Fi. Uh, it's about twice the speed of a normal phone. As an example, even though the Alpha One will allow me to crop in camera before I send a picture, I found it actually, it's actually much quicker to do it in the phone. Now the typical default setting on Imaging Edge software, uh, which again is free from Sony in the App Store, um, gives you a two megabyte file, but I change it to be the full size file. So I shoot um, 50 megapixel full size JPEGs. This allows me to crop and not worry about losing too much resolution because the pictures are still massive uh, even when they get to the client. Part of the reason why this is so speedy is because the, just like the processor inside the Alpha One, the processor inside the Xperia One Mark II is super, super fast and super quick. It can hold a huge heavy load all 50 megapixels a piece and it doesn't really matter. The phone is easily able to handle these, uh, manipulate them. I can crop, tone, do whatever I want to in terms of color grading before I send them off to the client.
One of the biggest differences I've found between using the Xperia system versus Apple as a platform is that the Apple will disconnect from the connection to the camera about every 60 to 90 seconds. So if I shoot a play and I push out an image, and right after I get finished pushing that image, there's another play that happens, but it's more than 90 seconds from that first play, then I'm gonna to have to reacquire and renegotiate the sort of handshake between the phone and the camera. With Xperia 1, uh, because it's on the Android platform, it never loses its connection. So literally, I could like shoot a picture at the end of the second quarter, and then the team's all running in the locker room and stuff, while they're there, I'm just drinking a Coke or whatever I'm doing. And then when they come back out for the third quarter, so maybe 25, 30 minutes has passed before I'm gonna shoot my next picture. If I shoot the kickoff of that first play in the third quarter, um, the phone is ready and waiting for me to send pictures to it. I don't have to reconnect all the time. So this is a huge time suck that happens when you're an Apple user with Sony products. When you're on the Android platform, but especially with Xperia 1 Mark II, it's instantaneous and you can send 16, 18 pictures at a time if you want to, and the phone has no issue taking them. It's really cool. So the combination of the Xperia 1 Mark II and my Alpha 1 and all my good G Master glass is pretty unbeatable. Uh, I can literally move pictures faster than anybody else can from the field during a game uh, without having to run in the locker room or into the press room at halftime and do that rush, rush thing. Uh, by the time photographers are getting to their laptops in the media room at halftime of a football game, I'm done. I'm really like just relaxing and taking this. I've already done the work during the game. Each time out that's on the field, I'm using to crop and manipulate images and then make them perfect before I send them to the client. So the, the use of the Xperia 1 Mark II with my A1 at sporting events and other events like weddings and things like that has allowed me to be traveling laptop free. And this is a huge benefit for me and my back. I love. Now you might think, well, that's a lot of files to be pushing into a little phone. Uh, would you be concerned about storage? And the answer is absolutely not. Unlike Apple, which makes you buy all their very expensive memory up front when you pay for the phone in the first place, Xperia 1 Mark II comes right out of the box with 256 gigabytes of internal storage. But on top of that, you get a micro SD card that's possible as an accessory, and you can go up to one terabyte. So you better believe that when I got my Xperia 1 Mark II, the first thing I did is I bought a one terabyte micro SD card, a fast one, I stuck it in the phone, so instead of having just 256 gigabytes of onboard memory, I've got over a terabyte in there. I mean, I can throw all the pictures I want in there and load movies in for the flight there and back to the assignment, no big deal. It's so cool. One of the problems I've had in the past traveling with iPhone, you wanna use your phone on the flight to watch movies or TV shows or whatever because it's boring sitting there on the flight, especially if you're going across country but you kind of have to throttle back your usage based on your need of having the phone working when you land. Like if you need to Uber someplace in the airport or get around. The other thing I want to mention about traveling with uh, the Xperia 1 is that it's such an awesome camera. So inside the phone is a 16 millimeter, 24 millimeter, and a 70 millimeter. These are all Zeiss lenses with individual sensors attached to the back of each one. So what that means is that the sensor is specific to the glass. So each sensor is made only for that focal length. And it means that as a photographer, I appreciate how good the images are coming out of the Xperia 1 Mark II. I love to shoot my lunch, what can I say? And it's, it's a fun thing to be able to do. I love to freak out my clients with how freaky fast I can deliver images to them. It's really fun and it also really helps me solidify my, myself as a professional in the marketplace. So in summation, I really love the combination of Alpha 1 with Xperia 1 Mark II. It has really changed my entire uh, workflow, uh, both at games and afterwards. I can remember spending hours in hotel rooms long after the whistle blew in the end of the game, and I'm still cranking out pictures left and right. Now I'm able to edit in the camera really quickly, I'm able to lock images with Alpha 1, then send only the locked ones to the Xperia through Imaging Edge, and then go into Google Drive or wherever I need to go. So the combination of Alpha 1 and Xperia 1 Mark II 
has really changed my life for the better and it makes me look like a million bucks to my clients. I love it.